after Martin Luther King said that. Yeah, yeah, I read that in my eighth grade history book, too. But right now, the voiceless are looting, and that's not going to do anything for this community. You just don't understand your people, and that's a damn shame. I don't understand my... You know what? You voted for the first time this year because I made you. Now, all of a sudden, you're Mr. Politically Correct, and I don't understand my people. Whatever. I'm going to call Maxine and make sure everybody's okay. And I'm going to go back to the store. Well, do you want me to go with you? Nope. No, you don't need to be outside right now. I'll be back. When you pull people out of the car and you beat them, it's a riot. When you burn stores, it's a riot. When you break people's windows, it's a riot. A lot of the people who are rioting are not rioting because they feel uh, oppressed because they're concerned about police brutality. They want a VCR. They want a TV. It is a riot. I got it. Good morning. Morning. Hi, I'm Beverly Gordon from WWEN Chicago. Mm -hmm. Channel 25. Oh, yeah. How can I help you? Well, we're trying to talk to people about the riots in your neighborhood and some of the events that may have led up to it. What station did you say you were with again? Channel 25. We're actually hoping we can talk to you. Oh, well, uh, well, the police always get to tell this story. Somebody should tell what really happened. You know, like how they pushed me. Police pushed you? Yeah. Well, I think that's something that we should know. Right? Right. Right, right, right. Well, I, I'm Kenny Chadway. Pleasure to meet yeah, you. Yeah, this is my wife, Maxine. Hi, come on in. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Right this way. On it. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My brother Hassan wanted everyone to know how deeply touched he is by your love and concern. He also wants you to know how much he cares about you as well. So he has asked me to beg you to stop the rebellion. He does not want you to give the police or anybody else an excuse to do to you what they've done to him. Salam alaikum. I'm going to go check on my family. I'll see you guys later. Uh, are you really going to the south side? Mara, I'm from the south side. I think I'll be okay. Uh, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. I was just concerned for your safety. Why are they doing that? I mean, don't they understand they're just destroying their own stuff? Well, Gina, I'm not the spokesperson for all black people, so I can't tell you why they would do any particular thing. Oh, no, Terry, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. No, but when a community is suddenly enraged, you can't expect that community to calm down until it's out of its own neighborhood. Excuse me. Terry. Hey, as much as we like to talk about white people, and as much as we can legitimately place uh, responsibility for the creation of these social conditions on white people, there's still problems that, that we bring upon ourselves and that we can ultimately correct ourselves. We really do celebrate ignorance in the black community. We really do dislike each other.
we really don't get along. Yeah, well, you're a reporter. How many stories have you done on a white man being beaten or shot by the police? None. Huh. Well, how, how many have you heard of? None. But you have heard of Timothy Thomas from Cincinnati, an African brother from New York that was, you know, shot for pulling his wallet out. Latanya Haggerty, Robert Russ, right here in Chicago. You know, and I could go on if you want me to, because there's a lot of things well, and a lot of people. One of the problems is that the only contact that the police have with the community is when they're arresting us. How do you fix that? Police should walk the beat again, live in the communities they work in. But that would be an enormous cost to taxpayers. Taxpayers live in this neighborhood. You think we want a crack house here? Around our children? Bringing down our property values? Of course not. There is no way those cops could have beat Hassan like that if they knew him. How hard he works. How much he cares for his family. Well, I think what most people... I should say most people who don't live here don't understand why riot. Why violence? Well, that's what we don't understand. Why the excessive police violence? Okay, but that doesn't answer the question. Looting and burning our own stores and property is not going to help. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. You know, it's the people's way of screaming out for help. You know, to be heard, to be seen. The government is always surprised by rioting because they've ignored the conditions that led to the rioting. Do we really think that if the government had been listening to F the police coming straight from the underground, a young nigga got it bad, cousin Brown, and not the other color, so police think they have the authority to kill a minority? Had they been listening to NWA back in, say, 92, that, or, or in, in late 80s, that they would have been a surprise uh, about the Rodney King situation there in, in L.A. and now here in Chicago? The streets seem to be quieting down now. The mayor has declared an 8 p.m. curfew for the next three days in hopes of keeping this fragile situation under control. In other news, federal health experts released a report today. I guess this is just your day to worry me, huh? How come you were gone so long? What's, how was the store? What's wrong? Baby, what's wrong? J&H was looted. What? Oh, shit. Windows broken, new registers destroyed. Oh. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. Rebellion. Shh. The last thing I need to hear right now is I told you so. Yeah, well, I'm not saying I told you so, Lem. I'm just saying this ain't right. I caught this kid in the store stealing. When I went to throw him out, he pulled a gun on me. A gun? Baby, are you okay? I'm I mean, right. I... Fine. Well, here, come here. Sit down. He, he couldn't have been any older than Ahmad. I can't believe this. Because I never understand where the mothers are when their kids are pulling guns on people. I can only tell you where mine was. But there's still no excuse for these young fools to disregard life. They need to take their little gun-toting asses and lock them down for good. No, we need to be rioting about the things we do to ourselves. That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, Bird. You're talking about what we need to do with these badass kids, and I'm talking about the exact same thing. I just don't agree that your answer is the answer. Then what is the answer, Bert? Well, earlier you told me how you understood why folks rebel. But I'm supposed to believe that you don't understand why that kid did what he did? Ma'am, all little boys like that need is for somebody to take them and show them another way. Not just write them off as hopeless. You should understand that better than anybody. We're the worst that this country has seen since the Rodney King riot. Oh, oh, Ahmad, go get the toilet paper, please. All right. You know, I don't know who has worse time management skills, you or Bird. <laughs> Hi. Hey, hey now. Sorry we're late. I had a long day at the store with the insurance company. Yeah, Maxine and I were there earlier today. Hi. Oh. Yeah, I started crying when I saw all that damage to the store. Yeah, well, the windows are boarded now, and I'll start cleaning tomorrow. Hey, I can help you after I get out of school. I thought school was suspended for one more day. Only in this neighborhood. Oh, hey, 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 
here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. One of the problems is that the only contact the police have with...